Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm just gonna make this uh, quick video just on uh, reverse osmosis water. Um, I have mine set up for two different tanks. Um, the one that comes with it, which is a five gallon, but only actually holds three. Um, then I got a 12 gallon, basically. It's 15, but it only holds 12. <laughs> what I do is I go ahead and put them all in these individual gallons that way I know when my nutrients go in how much I have of everything um, it's a great way to do it some people will just fill up um, garbage cans um, that's that's a good way too a lot less work than what I do but this definitely keeps it more organized and uh, less contaminants all that kind of stuff um, they're mixed match I use the different caps for different rooms um, something to think about if you guys do anything like this. That's just, sometimes I end up letting this overflow quite a bit. I was using the sink for it for a minute, but as you see, it doesn't go anywhere right now. It's just kind of falling into another five gallon bucket. Um, so yeah, if anyone's thinking of doing an RO for their plants, it's definitely uh, beneficial. Um, anytime you want to tap on another tank, all you got to do is buy these snap tight um, for your tubes. And, uh, Really simple. Takes about just a couple minutes. Plants love it, uh, especially cannabis plants. Um, basically, it comes out kind of um, more on the base side. So I think probably about 8 pH is what it comes out because it has a charcoal filter and all these rough ways of getting the parts per millions down, <coughs> which is really good, especially if you have hard water like I do. Um, it was actually at about 220 parts per million before I got this unit. Now it comes out at around 5 parts per million, which is awesome, especially if you're going to be mixing heavy nutrients with all your plants, which I definitely do. Um, so yeah, that's just a little bit something on an RO machine. If anybody's thinking about um, doing one for their uh, garden at home, mine's in a basement wonderful place. I just have the uh, exit hose because it does leak out. I just have it going out um, to the drain from under the house. Uh, really simple. Took probably about like 20 minutes to put together. Some of the harder work is hooking it up to the actual water. Um, if you don't know how to do this, it's it can be complicated. We did it at my house. Um, probably took us about a day to tell you the truth because we got it wrong once the solder didn't actually connect um, a little off topic though so yeah um, great way to uh, please your plants if you're having any kind of stress related illnesses due to water too high PPMs just messed up water altogether I definitely recommend this refills um, for these cartridges really cheap uh, I got like a whole year supply for this thing I could keep it going for a year just off like twenty dollars I think it was um, the membrane which is this one that's held in this unit this chamber um, those are a little bit more expensive but you only have to replace those probably around every three years this odor reducer that comes with the package that you get um, most of the time if you buy any any filter pack which most of them are universal um, they'll shoot you this deodorizer and taste reducer. Um, yeah, great setup. Uh, any questions? Let me know.